So what I'm focusing on right now is cleaning out the transmission. I'm looking for any uh, larger chunks about the size of a pencil lead or larger uh, metal. And I'm trying to clean out the rest of the sand and grit that I had seen in there when I opened up the transmission for the first time in one of my other videos. So then I'm going to, uh, if I don't see anything, I'm just going to put it back together and uh, we'll go from there. The next step after that would be grinding out the bell housing. And the reason I'm doing that is because I recently bought a rebuilt engine and it's 12 volts, a 1500 single port. So I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's go. One thing I realized is that uh, these fulcrum plates are in pretty rough shape. I'm not really sure if um, I can reuse them. I've got a chip missing from both of them. And actually all four of them are like this. So I'll have to find some new ones. And for now I can't really continue. Uh, it just occurred to me that I'm also refinishing the axle tubes. So it's kind of as far as I can go right now.
So I didn't record this, but I test fit the transmission onto the back of the flywheel. And uh, I could see roughly where it was touching the flywheel. There are a couple of uh, shinier spots. Maybe there's one. You can kind of see some of the, uh, some where it made contact. So what I did was I uh, took some spray paint, some primer, and I coated the inside, just the inside ring here, and I uh, put it back in while it was still wet so I could see where the flywheel was hitting. And you can see there, there's a spot right there. Yeah, there's one right there. And I think it hit right there too. And right there. So really just a few spots and actually uh, it didn't touch these bottom uh, ears at all. So now it's a couple of weeks later. I've refinished the backing plates, axle tubes, and transmission mount bracket. I used the same Rust-Oleum semi-gloss paint with uh, a metal prep solution which came in a spray bottle. That stuff, uh, it works great for tasks like this where you can't quite get all the ru rust completely removed. It supposedly renders the rust inert and allows you to paint right on bare metal. I purchased some good condition used fulcrum plates on eBay and fit one axle into the transmission. I ended up using more gaskets than the uh, kit. I purchased came with, so I only have two left over to use on the other side instead of about five which is what I needed for this side. The gaskets will look, uh, they looked relatively even in thickness, so I'm just assuming five will work for the other side. So next up, I'll be refinishing this rear portion of the chassis. I'm doing this in uh, increments like I did the passenger floor because it's just a lot of work to do all at once. Here's a look at the engine I purchased. Uh, it was uh, freshly rebuilt. I bought it locally here. It's a 1500 single port. It has one of those aftermarket fan shrouds and I didn't realize this but they don't come pre-drilled for the accelerator tube so I'm gonna have to figure that out and uh, uh, kind of dismantle this thing I'm gonna repaint the red parts anyway but with that uh, thanks for watching <laughs>